Here's that Sustatana River again. I can stop on this bridge, even though it's a highway, because there's no cars behind me, or in front of me for that matter. This place is just amazing. And there appears to be some sort of hitchhiker ahead who I'm not going to stop and pick up. Why? Because I am not insane. <laughs> well, I might be an eccentric artist, but I'm certainly not a... Certainly not this dude. Though he might just live here. Nope, he's carrying a backpack. That reminds me of Chris McCandless from the book. Ah, uh, by John Krakauer. Not Into Thin Air, the other one. About the dumb bastard who went into the Alaskan wilderness and frickin' died because he was a fucking retard who went into the Alaskan wilderness. Tell us, Into the Wild, that was a damn good book. And hey, where am I now? Kalkitna. This is like 50 miles, no, no, what the hell am I talking about? 100 miles north of Anchorage. And I'm heading back there. And those are some freaking more unbelievable mountains ahead of me. Such a cool trip, such a cool trip. Glad I made it and didn't get all chickened out and decide not to go at the last second. Which I almost did because it was going to cost money. And then I got freaked out at the airport in Minnesota because the captain came on and said we can't take off right now because the plane's freezing up and there are wind gusts of 75 miles an hour and then you looked out the window and there were wind gusts of 75 miles an hour and I was like we can't actually take off in this and then the son of a bitch did and it was very 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 freakish and scared the shit out of everybody on the plane but the dude did a good job and uh yeah five and a half hours later we were at Anchorage that's the first house in about 30 miles. Neat. In any case, the Alaskan wilderness. And yes, it definitely is all it's cracked up to be. And then some. <laughs>